One of Wisconsin's maximum security prisons has been under what inmates call a lockdown for months. Inmates in Wapan Correctional say they're not getting proper medical care, something the state has denied. Now, the family of one inmate found dead in his cell says he never received the proper mental health treatment. Here's investigative reporter James Stratton. Dean Hoffman spent 80 days inside Wapan Correctional, inside what inmates call a lockdown. He's now one of three inmates to die since that lockdown started in Wapan. Records obtained by his family appear to show Hoffman did not receive a psychological evaluation because of what DOC calls restricted movement. He would have gotten help had he been able to, and he was unable to, and he was calling out for help and they were not helping him. Those same records show Hoffman was receiving medication for being bipolar and did not show signs of self-harm just days before his death. He was sent to a pawn after getting convicted of serious domestic abuse charges. Hoffman placed in restricted housing similar to solitary confinement for nine days before he died. He was there, records show, because he told officers he was threatened by other inmates. The family, protesting with others in Madison in recent weeks, wants answers for them and other inmates. We've had three deaths in that prison, a declaration that they're going to make changes, but nothing's done yet. How many more are to come? That's what I'm afraid of. Wisconsin Department of Corrections staff and the governor's office have announced changes to both Waupon and Green Bay Correctional that they say will work to ease these restrictions. Those changes include reducing the use of solitary confinement and changing Waupon to single cell housing, hoping to help an understaffed prison. In the newsroom, I'm James Stratton. Two other inmates have also died in Wapan since the restricted movement began. Tyshawn Lemons died on October 2nd. Cameron Williams died on October 30th. A Department of Corrections spokesperson has repeatedly said inmates are getting medical and mental health treatment in multiple statements to 12 News. Now, we have contacted them for this story today, but haven't yet heard back this afternoon.